Alessi sweeping around the outside. That is a classic Mike Alessi hole shot. One of the best additions. And uh, three digit up there too. There's Stewart on the seven. Stewart is on the seven. 29, the red bike there on the right side. Stewart on the yellow, number seven. Dungey on the orange, five. And Alessi trying to get away from them all, leading on the 800. Switch. Uh, a team that James talked about signing with last fall, Yoshimura Suzuki, said, hey, we still want you to jump on the team. Well, next year, he just wanted to get out here on the bike, basically for pride, and he's going to go for the title. He's racing for the record books, and he's racing to get his motocross legs back underneath him. And Mike, so good when he gets a start. He'll make it tough to make passes. Dungey's learning that lesson right now. Dungey also has to worry about Stewart right behind him. And look at how rough this track is. Dungey switches up on him again, and this time he takes the lead. Makes it look easy. Just really set him up nicely. Look at Alessi. He's coming back down the inside. And he makes the pass. So Alessi, Stewart won the race. Moto won pretty easily. Dungey had a ride from outside the top 10. Came up to third. So it's going to be a real showdown between the 2010 faster than Alessi right now. And everyone's backing up because of that. Here comes Stewart, Jeff, around the outside. He makes the move, the crowd comes to life, and he's going to go for Alessi as well. Can he get two riders? No, Alessi beats him to the inside. He can. No, Alessi shuts the door for a second time. See, same thing that happened there. They've got the same exchange going. Let's see if, yeah, see Stewart, he's to the inside. He holds that line. Stewart is able to make the pass complete. But look at Alessi trying to come back on the inside. Dungey's, Dungey's been really patient, but he needs to get a And Dungey, Dungey to the inside. Wow, this could be the it. Tightrope. That is not easy to maintain momentum on the inside, but he does it. He makes the pass, and he's going back after Stewart to boot. We, we talked about this pre-race. Stewart, was, he was favored. He shows a lot of speed. He started out the day instantly your fastest qualifier for the moto win well it's uncharted territory for both of these riders jeff they're both switching to new bikes dungeon's never ridden the ktm in a motocross race stewart has only been on the suzuki for a couple of weeks as he has dominated here in hangtown welcome back to motocross welcome back to victory lane james stewart A couple of the Yamaha boys bumping and grinding through there. Looks like it might be Regal. Yes, the number 36 on the Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota wow. up on this track, Jeff. Wow, I've, I've actually fallen with the whole shot before, and I can tell you <laughs> it's pretty frustrating. You can see they put down really deep and sloppy. What they've tried to do is monitor the water. Oh, James, James Stewart, Stewart up in the second. Goes around the outside, and he cuts in front of Dungey, so he takes over the number two. Yan. And now he's under fire from Stewart. Here goes Stewart around the outside. Wow, bounces into the outside and takes the lead. Scrubbing it together, and that'll put Stewart on the inside of this right-hander. Let's see if anybody jumps into the Texas 12-pack. Now the 450 guys opting to uh, just hit that tabletop and then get into these rollers. Yeah, keep a close eye on the front of Dungey's bike there. You can see his number five already covered with a lot of the same mud. Same spot. Yeah, same spot. Stewart tried to go after Izzy. Dungey will do the same. Favorite lines when Izzy's running up front. And Never we'll show you a little old. bit further. Yeah, no, we'll show you a little further back. Was well, Josh Grant? He is still there, the number 33. Stewart had a little bit bigger lead than this a few laps ago, but Dungey has been slowly but surely inching up on him. Although, in racing terms, slowly but surely is a relative term. They're both going very fast. Uh, it, it, that section stays wet all afternoon, and it gets rutted and it gets dark. You know, the dirt is dark under there, and, and you go from the light, right. you know, the sunshine into the shade. Or I think it's going to open up lines. Well, we'll see if Dungey can use some of those new lines to try to make a move on Stewart. Right now, everyone just kind of anticipating when or if the number five is going to be able to make a run. Race a week ago in Hangtown, Dungey had to come from behind in the first moto. The second moto, they got together. Uh, looked like we were going to see this type of battle. Then it, you know, for the Toyota Yamaha team and everybody at Gibbs, it's, you know, it's been uh, since they've been in motocross. Mm -hmm. It's been so up and down. They've had spikes. Okay, but really starting to put the pressure on James Stewart and the crowd here. You come through the main area. Look at the crowd on the left. Woo! They're going nuts. They almost touch wheels in midair over this jump. Dungey's going for the kill now. He's going for it on the inside. Deep in this moto, Dungey's fitness looks to be solid. He's working it hard. Going around the outside. He's going to miss one of those jumps. Countdown clock not down to zero. So... We will have two laps to go 
And that's why it ran out of fuel. It's not like the mechanic didn't put enough gas in right, it. Right, right. The it gas just evaporated, basically. The conditions were so tough. This year, this is all the perfect, perfect conditions. So far, so good. Oh, Dungey with a big drive coming into the 12th pack. Here we go, side by side. I don't know if Stewart has room to shut the door. He does, and Dungey gets a little bit sideways, and that's going to allow Stewart to hold on to the lead. Find some magic somewhere. He's certainly close enough to get it done, but does he have a spot picked out, or can he try to break Stewart, push Stewart into a mistake? I got to admit, Stewart has been pretty flawless, despite all the pressure flawless. he's been feeling. And I'm feeling Leninovich there, some other rival. Lap riders everywhere, Jason. Yeah, that's making a big difference, but once again, it looks like Stewart able to negotiate a little bit better. Ooh. Then Dunge questions A of his fitness or B of his ability to handle the, the pressure. He has answered it here in Moto 1. He takes the win in Texas. Looks like uh, Stewart's teammate Brett Metcalf led them into turn one of the 24, but he went wide. Not in Stewart. There he is on the offensive again, goes by the boat, Jeff. Wow, Stewart takes an inside line as Dungey and Alessi were battling coming into turn two, right out front. First and second in Moto One, Woo. battling it out already here early in Moto Two. This is the race the fans want to see. Now we're in Texas, totally different conditions, but a very similar race has broken out early in Moto Two. Very much so, and you can see just how wet the track is in spots. Oh, and Dungey makes a mistake. 50 division was here in Texas a couple of years ago, 2009. Here is Dungey trying to get him back. Let's see if this is going to work for Dungey. Yes, and Alessi. Here they have gone back and forth uh, personally. He said it's nothing like that between he and Dungey. It's just made the best man win. There are two racers going for it, and that's exactly what we're seeing right now. And it, on the flip side is Dungey often gets, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, um, you know, um, 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 underestimated guy. consistent, on his speed. Yeah, 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 consistent, yeah. maybe not. But right now, the battle is on here from Freestone Raceway in Texas. James Stewart on the number seven. Ryan Dungey on the number five. They have been duking it out like this for the entire race. Yeah, and he was right behind Tommy Hunt, who's at six. Here goes Dungey. First time he's seen him pull up alongside Stewart. And Stewart grabs a handful of throttle and holds him back. Whoa! Let's... Dungey a little sideways. Yeah, we got to see how Stewart reacts to that. Now Dungey really starting to put the pressure on. It was just one year ago, he was riding the same team, the same bike as James Stewart had the second moto in hand. I mean, he dominated moto two and had the bike fail on him on the final lap when he had the overall in hand. Everywhere Stewart goes, Dungey's found a different line to try to stay next to him. I mean, look at, at the fluidity of these riders right now. They are just, oh, Stewart! Whoa, Stewart! Big mistake! And this is where Dungey caught up last lap. Well, I'm Stewart, your points leader. Yeah, not only able to just prevent himself from crashing, but uh, holds on to the lead. Why is that? It didn't even lose uh, much time. Yeah, uh, no big deal. I've been through that before. But he did save it this time in one line, and that's the type of track this is. Is is uh, there's different lines all over, and the track changes as this moto has gone on. But Dungey has to do something special because just Stewart gets out of sequence right here, and he's gonna. Oh, there he gets back in, loses a little bit of time, and look at Dungey flying way around the outs around the outside, trying to go for the for the lead, shading to the inside on Stewart. Now going to the outside. Dungey has had a really good run down through this section in the previous laps. Here he goes. He gets a drive. They're side by side. Can Dungey get the lead for the first time? Stewart beats him to do it again. Now Dungey's got him squared. No, he tried to back up. He's getting lapped, and Stewart, the pressure is on right now. You know the heart rate for both of these athletes have to be all the way in the red zone. They're battling out, and this is for the overall. Performed brilliantly here today. And uh, Dungey makes the mistake ah. this time. Did that line go away, Jeff? It looked very ah, rough. He just didn't get over that uh, little tabletop beforehand. Second place. Try to get as close to Stewart as possible. If he makes a small mistake, maybe he can get by. But there's no doubt about it. Time is running He's out. He's close. Imagine if it comes down to, to that Texas to 12 pack. Oh, man. Uh, Sipes and Brayton, they're battling for position themselves. And they are in the top 20. They are actually battling for points, paying positions. Brayton. Stewart's directly behind Brayton. He's got a clear line through that 12 pack. Here we go. Stewart, just a few jumps separate him from another win. James Stewart takes it in Freestone. It's over here at Freestone. James Stewart has won in dramatic fashion, and there's his dad, Big James Stewart. And you think they're happy? Stewart. And from the outside. The Hondas, that's going to be the 32. Tommy Hahn on his own. Off to a good start in third.
just getting blasted right here, heading up the first hill, and it looks like of our two uh, front runners. It's gone around Dungey, and it's gone around short as well. It's looking to attack Weimer, and there goes Stewart. Well, Alessi has always been so uh, so sharp here. You know that this is a here. They're trying to get around Alessi. Boy, I tell you, things are so dialed in here for the number seven of James Stewart. Whoa. Look at that, right around the outside of Alessi. Jeff, obviously these riders had practice earlier today, but this is a track made of dirt. It changes quite a bit. So is that risky to go this strong, this hard, when you're still kind of learning? Look at that, right around the outside of Weimer, just not holding wow. up. Uh, I mean, basically, these guys are really riding at a high pace. It, you know, especially Tommy Hahn, who's been leading this race from the get-go. Yeah, give a shout out to the 32, although I think he's about to give up the lead to Stewart right here as we begin another lap. And look at the countdown clock at the top of the screen. We count down from 30 minutes, and then when that expires, we'll put the two laps to go sign out. Huh? And I get a clean track, and I put down hard, fast laps. Last weekend, he really had to focus on what was behind him, and James did it an unbelievable job. <laughs> Michigan, oh, we got the red cross flag along with the yellow flag. That says downhill double. There's a rider down. That's Stewart. It is Stewart who has gone down while leading this race. Side has been down. You notice all the mud on the right side of James's uh, shoulder there. There's a mechanic, Lee McCollum. They're trying to, they do not have radio communication with the riders, but they're just trying to figure out what has happened from an outside. Something is wrong. We're not sure if it's the machine or James himself. There's our Roger Larson from Answer there, trying to check in with him. Now the crew has come by, come by to ask. It looks like from the body language that James is favoring his right. So uh, you do have to be smart closely by Yoshimura Suzuki rider James Stewart right there. He just comes in the screen. This is a hide right there. They both closed up on Barsha. Barsha's gone. Oh, Stewart goes to second. Can Kenari run it? No, not going to happen. And now Stewart to the inside of Barsha. Just a little bit there, but Stewart definitely on the move. These riders. So the track's starting to come around a little bit. The track's starting to get a little bit quicker. Oh, oh, geez. Geez. The two Ryans oh, out of Stewart oh, stalls. Stewart it. stalls. Manages to get a bump started. Switches back to the left. Gets high in the gearbox. Woo! Finds a smooth line. Out gets this turn the last time around. This time Stewart has the pass sealed. He uh, rides on, you know, on a, you know, on a normal weekly basis. So they say that Stewart's compound down in Florida isn't too far removed from this, and he's not far removed from the line. line. Look at that, and pulled a couple of bike links even. Oh, but Barsha comes right back for a reason. He'll fight you for it. The line doesn't pay off at the. He came back from break. They all are using the same section. Battle is off the lead. Trey Kennard trying to get James Stewart for the number one spot. Crash managed to save it. He stood third as these two furiously go at side by side for a quarter of the track. Stewart slams the door and he has picked off his teammate Barsha. Look at him just cutting the lines, trying to get past. Watson managed to stay right with Stewart, who edges him off to the left side of the track again. About 20 minutes ago. Now Kennard might be the faster rider through it. Let's see how the lines play out. Original line. He's close though. In fact, they're side by side and there's a lap rider. Stewart's gonna have to deal with that side. They got close. 
That was the Russian Mikolov, by the way, who they had to right there. He hugged the inside. Kanard just really working it hard. One lap to go. It is going to be an all-out sprint. We're about two minutes away from here. Watch this time he makes up. Gets next to Stewart. They're going to switch lines. Kennard goes wide. This entire race. Kennard's able to pull up next to him at the end of the section. Outside line still goes Sides. wide. It's going to be close. They have been side by side. Whoa, oh, he's he jumped last couple up. laps. <laughs> he's trying, but just not close enough. It's going to be on the inside. Last time, he was on the outside. And Stewart holds on to take them right next to him. Oh, my God. And I was like, the last two laps, I was like, well, we're going to hit the ground. <laughs> to press days they're they're never like this so i think the hype around you know a one's a big one you get used to it and stuff and you know for me i think it's easier than you know the middle part of the month should be. hey jake <laughs> hey james how's the track look narrow lots of pot passing opportunities lots of takeout opportunities <laughs> You're behind the scenes. Fine. I was in. I was in front of the scene. I need now, to now you're behind the scenes. <laughs> Live on Fox Sports One, oh, Alessi. He goes. It doesn't work this time. And it's Josh Grant on the Yamaha. Chad Reed, fourth. Pro! Guess who's down? Noah Pono! Just like a year ago in the heat race. That's going to shake things up here as we are approaching the halfway point and Stewart gets by. It's Stewart and Reed, are they both, you know, have they passed their prime? Here we are once again, these guys. Comes James again. He's got the inside line. Takes away. This is a two-time champion with 45 wins under his belt. Stewart has been. Oh, Stewart loses it. The rock squirts away. Reed will now move to second. Let go. Just one whoop, and things oh. go sideways. Ruts in him. See? See right there? I mean, Ooh. it kicks sideways, and there you go. I, I, no he bueno. got off a lot better than it could have been. See? Oh, 
Marsha, Dungey, Phil Toto, Braden Stewart. I mean, man, this thing is stacked. Tonight, gate drop time! Short. Don't and Villapoto takes the lead, and here comes Stewart. He's right there. Roxon's in the fight as well. Wow, look at that. Dungey starting to win. Stewart, Villapoto going for the lead. And Reed's up here as well. He's in fifth. Oh. Bonaparte gets a little wild already. As James Stewart jumps into the early lead. You see those two on their KTMs running side by side. Over the finish line jump. Lapper. It was Nick Way and James Stewart trying to pick his way his first win of 2014. Yes! Malcolm makes the podium and James takes the win. Crashing into your living room. Stewart goes for the lead but can't get it done because Dungey. And he falls with the lead. Time for redemption here tonight in Texas. Going for that inside right away. He's going oh. for it now. Here he comes. Cheering him on as Stewart takes the lead. And Dungey rebounds for a challenge. Wheel tapped. That, that uh, triple jump coming out of the corner really Look at fast. Number five does now because as we've seen, Ricky, he's been very aggressive this year. Working on it, something that had to happen. Another guy looking for a win here this year is that Joe Gibbs racing Toyota back to Yamaha coming along pretty soon. And this will be his 47th career win. One step. Comes checkered flag. James Stewart wins it. 72. So Seeley's going to get the whole shot. And Wilson and Stewart fourth. Dungey's back there. Here they come. He saw that big number one right there behind him. He knows that he needs to make the pass on Seely quickly. He gets on the brakes right here, tries to hold it. Oh, oh not going to do it. Stewart pointed out. You see Villapoto closing in with the red number one plate. Up and the bike is not moving. Mm. Meanwhile, at number seven here on this Yoshimura Suzuki, James Stewart has been just a couple of tenths of a second off. Cruising out front, just turned the fastest lap of anyone last time around. Crowd knows history's about to be made for James Stewart in his career. There he is, career win 48. Ricky Carmichael, second all time on the Supercross win list. Right in the thick of the top group as they go across the whole shot line. Barsh is in a good position. But there is still so much racing here to go in Toronto. Dungy has got to get points here tonight on Villapoto. Right Dungy, here. look at Stewart. Watch James this. is up to four. Yeah. Triple over. Triple again. Quad over the tabletop. Triple again. He's done that all day long. That is impressive. Uh, this is why he is one of the greatest Supercross riders ever. He's right there with the Red Bull KTM rider. Yoshimura Suzuki's James Stewart. We wheelies through this with so much speed. There he goes! And Stewart now will set sail after Roxon. to go. He's got to worry because there's Roxon. Here's Stewart. He is absolutely demolishing this track. It has been so difficult. The Yoshimura Suzuki rider is putting on a clinic here tonight. He has Roxon just in front of him. And if he can keep in his lines and if lap riders... Roxon, this is your top three. Marsha, Roxon, and Stewart! Through the whoops, no mistakes. Got him! Pulls the trigger on it in the main event. Could tonight be the night that you're also. We are looking at one of the greatest performances of all time right now. But Stewart Here. has found a way to redefine this whole race course. Watch him in the whoops. Rhythm section. Well, and also, I mean, look at the time he gains right here, but also third. See how he catches Barsha right there? Here, watch. Here he comes. Whoa. With him. And this Toronto crowd loving the action. Back to the middle. Only nine laps will be remaining here. Five laps. Make it five. Own world right now. In the zone. Look at this right here. Quad over the table. James Stewart. Career win number 49. And he comes with an impressive. Wow. 
it, what a night. I can't think of a race that, it, that has had more excitement than this. That was Stewart. I passed so many people, I don't really remember where I got, but uh, the last time I did something like that, it was Anaheim 1 through the whoops, so I'm like, please don't swap out. But uh, to break Ricky's record and to do it like that, uh, you know, such a legend, and man, that, that's, that says a lot. He's got everybody beat. Pono to the inside. Stewart trying to go with him. Marsha beats him to the corner. Shot down on Stewart. Throw a wheel right there. Just right around the outside. ETM trying to catch the number. Yeah. Here comes Stewart. And they're all set and sail after Alessi right now. See if Alessi cuts down and healthy 100% like he can make 20 laps. He's going to try and get away from these guys and get a gap. But they had some epic balls. How will that play out? Is Villa Pluto? You know, he's usually the guy that carries right the outside. He just cuts inside. Takes him down. And Villa Pluto is after him. Makes the pass. And now Stewart is out front. Can go. And as we've seen, you never know. It was the third race in Anaheim, San Diego, and Atlanta for the championship. Stewart can move into second of the points as he wins here tonight. Second man to win 50 races. Tell me what that feels like. That's unbelievable. I used to watch Jeremy Graff on videotapes, and uh, it's an honor to be even close to him. And, uh, you know, a kid from Haines City, Florida. And skies?